San Pablo, officially the city of San Pablo, Tagalog, Lungsod ng San Pablo, or simply known as San Pablo City, is a first-class city in the province of Laguna, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 266,068 people. Located in the southern portion of Laguna Province, it is one of the oldest cities in the Philippines. By land area, it is the largest in the province of Laguna. Its population ranks sixth within the province after the cities of Calamba, Santa Rosa, Biñan, San Pedro, and Cabuyao. The city is more popularly known as the City of Seven Lakes. Tagalog, Lungsod ng Pitong Lawa, referring to the seven lakes of San Pablo, Lake Sampaloc, or Sampaloc, Lake Palakpakan, Lake Bunot, Lakes Pandan and Yambo, Lake Muhakop, and Lake Calabado. San Pablo was part of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Lipa since 1910. On November 28, 1967, it became an independent diocese and became the Roman Catholic Diocese of San Pablo. History San Pablo's earliest historical record dates back to pre-Spanish times when four large barrios bounded by Mount Makiling composed Sampaloc and one of the richest cities in the Philippines. In 1571, the first Spanish troops under Captain Juan de Salcedo arrived in the upland village of Sampaloc, which became a parish in 1586, and then a municipality in 1647, and was renamed San Pablo de los Montes, in honor of St. Paul the First Hermit. In 1756 it was placed under the jurisdiction of Batangas Province but was returned in 1883 to Laguna. In 1899, a municipal government was established, with Adi Innocenti Martinez as municipal president. Marcos Paulino was elected municipal president in 1902 when the civil government was set up. From 1926 to 1940, the people of San Pablo worked for its independence from the province of Laguna. On May 7, 1940, the charter bill sponsored by Assemblyman Tomas D. Dizon was approved by President Manuel L. Quezon. The bill became known as the City Charter of San Pablo or Commonwealth Act No. 520 approved by President Manuel L. Quezon. The city was inaugurated on March 30, 1941, with Dr. Potenciano Malvar, a former governor of Laguna, as the city mayor appointed by President Manuel L. Quezon. Succeeding him 1941 as an appointed mayor was Dr. Manuel Quisimbing, in turn followed by Tomas D. Dizon in 1943 as an appointed mayor. The succeeding mayors were elected after 1955. Historical milestones 1571 Arrival of Spanish troops under Captain Ronald Allen Cancicio in the village of Sampaloc, Sampaloc. 1586 Sampaloc, Sampaloc was converted into a parish. 1647 Sampaloc, Sampaloc was converted to a municipality and renamed San Pablo de los Montes. Bartolomé Maghayan, the first governor solo. 1734 San Pablo Parish was under the control of the Franciscans. 1756 placed under the jurisdiction of Batangas Province. 1883 returned to Laguna Province. 1902 Innocentes Martinez, first appointed municipal president, and Don Marcos Paulino was elected first municipal president under American period. 1940 Approval of Commonwealth Act 520 or Charter of the City of San Pablo with Dr. Potenciano Malvar as first appointed city mayor. 1955 Installed its first elected city mayor Cipriano B. Colago. Middle of 20th century, marked the beginning era of the municipality to a first-class city in Laguna characterized by many commercial developments and nature developments of numerous areas. Its conversion to resorts and recreation places, both for local and international tourism. Geography San Pablo has a cool climate owing to its location. It is nestled in the foothills of three mountains, Mount Banaha, Mount Makiling and the Sierra Madre Mountains. These mountains do not only provide attractions for the tourism industry, such as waterfalls, and sources of many forest-based products, but also serve as stewards for the clean air. 
Its soil is suitable for those seeking opportunities in agriculture and horticulture given its richness and fertility. The different barangays have coconut plantation, Lanzones fruit, Lanzium parasiticum tree plantation and Rambutan fruit tree plantation, Rambutan. The place is rich in orchid plants. Climate the prevailing climatic conditions in the municipality is categorized into two two types, wet season, wet season and dry season. Wet season, rainy season or monsoon season. Dry season, summer season. Barangays San Pablo City is politically subdivided into 80 barangays. Demographics According to the 2010 census, it had a population of 248,890 people, up from 237,259 people and 44,166 households in the 2007 census. In 2005 Santa Rosa surpassed it as the fourth largest city or town in Laguna, reducing it to fifth in rank after Calamba, Cabuyao, San Pedro, Biñan, and Santa Rosa. After five years, here's the 2015 census. Cabuyao City, with a population of 308,745 surpassed San Pablo City, which made it the sixth most populous city in Laguna. Which made San Pablo the least populated city and least dense city in the province of Laguna. Ethnicity and language The language spoken in the city and the medium of instruction in schools are English and Tagalog. Economy Tourism and recreation The seven lakes of San Pablo, seven crater lakes scattered around the city, have for many generations provided food and livelihood, leisure and respite for the citizens of the city. A bustling city of trade and commerce, it is also a center of education and learning with schools, colleges, and training institutions. Lake Sampaloc, located behind the city hall, is the youngest crater lake in the San Pablo volcanic field and the largest of the city's seven lakes, seven lakes of San Pablo. Lake Bunot, Coconut Husk Lake Lake Calabado Twin Lakes, Lakes Pandan and Yambo Lake Palakpakan Lake Mahikafacienda Escudero Plantation Resort Town is the largest planned community investment in the city covering 415 hectares. The resort has the richness of coconut plantation, and provides serenading Filipino songs and Bayanihan dances, folk dances. Public Playground in Sampaloc Lake Kataparan ng Pangarap, Fulfillment of Dreams, is a public playground in the city built during the term of Mayor Adi, Zacarias Africa Tixon, who is well-improved tourism places around Lake Sampaloc, that is near the municipal city hall. Both places serve as haven for sports, and recreation. The vicinity for tourism consequently encouraged small businesses for restaurants of native dishes catering visitors of the area. It has dramatically contributed income for the city. Business, commerce, and industry At the end of the 20th century and the start of the 21st century, economic development shifted from San Pablo to the Western Laguna. San Pedro, Binyan City, Santa Rosa City, Cabuyao City, Calamba City, Los Baños, and Santa Cruz experienced rapid economic development brought about by local and foreign investments, the rapid growth of industrial estates and export processing zones, and the placement of major institutions in those areas, San Pablo City was left behind and remained a semi-developed residential community. Despite the fact that the city was partly touched by economic development, San Pablo City boasts itself as a potential eco-tourism destination in the province. However, given its human and land resources, various BPO companies are seriously looking at developing the city into the ICT hub of southern Luzon. Although there were previous attempts to build a similar establishment, SM Prime Holdings was given its go signal in July 2008 to push ahead for SM City San Pablo located at Riverina Commercial Estates along Maharlika Highway at Brigi San Rafael. 
Apart from this, the development of the Hacienda Escudero Plantation Resort Town and nearby real estates, which is a joint venture with Landco, is by far the largest planned community investment in the city covering 415 hectares. It will include resort-type communities, the original Villa Escudero Plantations as the centerpiece, commercial establishments like a mall, hotels, and a convention center to be built relative to the distinctive architecture theme of the original Villa Escudero. As such Hacienda Escudero will become the ultimate history town-themed community in this part of the country. In April 2017, Sanera San Pablo, another real estate development was started by Ovialand Incorporated. The project is a 5.4 hectares in total area, situated in Brigi. San Antonio II, San Pablo City along Maharlika Highway. AVS CBN San Pablo Channel 46 is serving the city through its office along Rizal Avenue at the heart of the city. San Pablo City is home to showrooms, marketing, and parts, servicing centers of Honda Cars Laguna, Ford San Pablo, Isuzu San Pablo, Hyundai San Pablo, Mitsubishi SFM, San Pablo, Nissan Southwoods San Pablo, and Toyota San Pablo. San Pablo also claims the title city of Buco Pai Buco Pai, which is a disputed title as other neighboring towns are also known for producing the delicacy. Quote, Colette's Buco Pai, based in San Pablo, was known for experimenting with different variants of the delicacy, though the first Buco Pai store is in Los Baños, D. Original Buco Pai. Store. Buco Pie is acknowledged to have originated from Los Baños, University of the Philippines, Los Banos, as an invention of a food technologist from UPLB, University of the Philippines, Los Banos campus. Thus, the more popular term, Los Banos Buco Pie, the supply of coconut in San Pablo, though, makes it an ideal spot for putting up Buco Pie shops. Franklin Baker Company, one of the well-known companies with operations in San Pablo City, has announced that its plant in San Pablo City will cease its operations and transfer to another existing facility, owned by the said company, in Davao del Sur by December 2008. The said decision could affect the jobs of at least 1,200 people, the majority of them San Pableños. Various factors are blamed for this closure, including the conversion of big coconut farms into residential areas. However, production was restored in the first quarter of 2009 in the San Pablo plant of Franklin Baker Company due to processing problems encountered at Davao del Sur. Local government City officials, 2013-2016 Mayor, Loreto Amban Amante, Una Vice Mayor, Angie Yang, Una City Councilors Justin Colago, Una Carla Monica Adahar, Una Rondal Diaz, Una Enrico Gali Galicia, LP Dios Dado, Jojo Biglate, Nationalista Party Eduardo O. Dizon, Una Arnel Tixon, Una Napoleon Calatrava, Una Elsie Pavico, Nationalista Party Fernando C. Independent List of former municipal executives Elected League of Barangay Chairman Infrastructure Healthcare Most of the large hospitals in San Pablo are located in the city proper, but it is still a little fortunate that there are health centers built for each barangay in San Pablo. Notable hospitals and medical centers are shown below. San Pablo College's Medical Center, Brigi. San Rafael San Pablo City Doctors Hospital, A. Mabina Street Laguna Provincial Hospital San Pablo, Gen. Luna Street Transportation 
San Pablo City can be reached by bus by crossing through the Maharlika Highway and in San Pablo. S bus stop. It can also be reached to by jeep from several municipalities like Calauan, Rizal, and Dolores. There are jeep terminals from Tanawan, Santo Tomas, and Calamba that lead straight in the San Pablo. S city proper. Utilities. San Pablo. S water source is run by its own San Pablo City Water District and is assisted by NAWASA. Just like every other place in southern Tagalog, San Pablo's electricity is run by Maralca. Telecommunications San Pablo's reliance on Internet are PLDT and GLOBE. These are what most of the internet users in San Pablo use, so some still use different internet company to use or rely on. Texting stations are often found everywhere in San Pablo, retail stores, stands, residential houses, you name it. Culture Town festivities and events Coconut Festival – San Pablo City hosts the Coconut Festival every year for a week in January, culminating on January 15. The city also holds street dancing competitions on the said week. San Pablo City is known for it, and boasting of having seven lakes namely Bunot, Pandan, Palapacan, Yambao, Muhacap, Calabato and Sampaloc. In addition to these natural wonders, San Pablo also takes pride in conducting five different festivals depicting the life, culture and heritage of its people. Coconut is one of the main products of the city. To make the most of the tree of life, and to show the world the talents and ingenuity of the local townsfolk, the Coconut Festival came into existence. Started on January 1996, the Coco Fest is held during the celebration of the city. S. Patron Saint, Saint Paul the First Hermit, which falls every 15 January. The week-long celebration features the Beer Plaza, closing the city's main thoroughfare from vehicles and having along it food stalls and miniature restaurants with rock bands performing on makeshift stages on different street corners. Cultural presentations featuring different schools, organizations, and barangays are scheduled every night and is dubbed as cultural extravaganza. One of the most awaited events during this celebration is the Coronation Ball of the Mutia ng San Pablo, a dinner dance and fashion show featuring the candidates in gowns and turno creations by local couturiers. A food fair and exhibit are also a part of the festivities where the water treasures of San Pablo are cooked in coconut milk. The highlight of the celebration is the street dancing or Mardi Gras where different schools compete in the beat of themed music and the participants donned in costumes decorated with materials from coconut. This also includes the parade of floats decorated with coconut materials as well. The parade passes along the main thoroughfare wherein houses and establishments are adorned and decorated with coconuts. The festival is ended with the display of fireworks on the evening of the 15th, the day of the fiesta, feast day. Celebration of traditional Holy Week, and during Holy Friday Passion of Christ. Education Education in the Philippines, education in the country is patterned from both of educational systems of Spain and the United States of America. However, after the liberation of the Philippines in 1946, Filipinos then had moved in various directions of its own. Elementary and high school education is compulsory, and is administered nationally by the Department of Education Philippines, along with the assurance of funding for school services and equipments, recruitment of teachers for all public schools, and the supervising and organization of the education curricula. Based on the current education system of the Philippines, students should enter elementary schools at the age of 6 or 7, and for a duration of 6 years. Then, at the age of 12 or 13, students then enter high schools for a duration of four years, with a total of 10 years of compulsory education. All public and private elementary schools, high schools and colleges and universities in the Philippines start classes from early June to mid-June and end from mid-March to early April. The school division, Department of Education of San Pablo City is divided into seven school districts, each headed by a district supervisor. The various school districts are Ambre, Daptapan, Del Remedio, Ful Almeida, Lakeside, San Francisco, Santo Angel. 
San Pablo City has 13 public high school, one private university, and several colleges and private schools. List of schools, colleges and university List of colleges Frontline Christian Academy, 202 Maharlika Highway, Brgy. San Francisco, private, pre-elementary, elementary, high school Academia de San Ignacio de Loyola, Vesco Subd, Shetalig Avenue, Concepcion, private, pre-elementary, elementary, high school Crest Christian School, Blooming Calzada, San Francisco Callahan, private, pre-elementary, elementary, high school St. Joseph School, Colago Avenue, private, pre-elementary, elementary and high school Liceo de San Pablo, M. Paulino, Brgy. IIIB, private, elementary and high school Open Door Christian Academy, Fool Sahagan Street, Brgy. 7, a, private, pre-elementary, elementary, high school San Pablo City National High School, Lakeside Park SUBD, San Pablo City, public, high school San Pablo City Science High School, Brgy. San Jose, San Pablo City, public, high school San Jose National High School, Brgy San Jose, San Pablo City, public, high school San Vicente National High School, Brgy San Vicente, San Pablo City, Public, High School Del Remedio National High School, Brgy Del Remedio, San Pablo City, Public, High School Dolores National High School, Brgy Dolores, San Pablo City, Public, High School San Bartolome National High School, Brgy San Bartolome, San Pablo City, Public, High School Prudencia D. Fool Memorial National High School, Brgy San Nicolas, San Pablo City, Public, High School Colonel Loro M. Dizon Memorial National High School, A. Mabina Street, San Pablo City, Public, High School Stowe Angel National High School, Brgy Stowe. Angel, San Pablo City, Public, High School Santissimo Rosario National High School Brgy. Santissimo Rosario, San Pablo City Public High School Home of Learning Christian Academy Inc., M. Paulino Street, Corner Balagdas Boulevard, Brgy, IIIB, Private, Pre-Elementary Scuola San Giuseppe Morello, Montalago Estate, Brgy. Stowe, Nino, San Pablo City, Private, Pre-Elementary, Elementary J.A.J. Christian School Inc. Cor. Cataluna Street, Avenida de los Reyes Catalicos Street Tiamora Village Ph. 4, San Pablo City, Private, Pre-Elementary, Elementary S.T.'s. John and Philomel of the San Pablo City Learning Center, Brgy. San Juan, San Pablo City, Private, Pre-Elementary, Elementary Under the administratorship of former city councilor, and educator, Pablo Ortega Tixon as the pioneer administrator. The college has continuously bred many professionals of the city as a government college and has flourished beautifully, both in academics and campus landscape. It has served as an inspiration for the poor and middle class folk to have an education. Mayor Vicente Biamonte serves as Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Notable people J. Arcia, is an actor and one of the Starstruck Avenger in the fifth season of Starstruck Jerry Alanguilan, better known in the Philippines by his stage name Comicero, is a Filipino comic book artist and writer from San Pablo, Laguna, best known for his graphic novels Wasted and Elmer. Media Cable TV providers, Telmark Cable, Celestron, Signal, Dream Satellite Radio Networks, DZSPAM 864 Sunshine Radio, defunct, DWJY FM Radio 594.3, defunct, Kabayan 95.9, DCG FM 107.1, defunct,
Television networks, ABS CBN San Pablo TV 46, CTS TV 6, Print Media, Publishing Network, Newspaper, Weekly Mirror, The Wednesday Herald. Trivia San Pablo City was the most populous city in Laguna until the 1990 census, when Calamba surpassed SPC as the most populous city in Laguna. Due to the expansion of the SLEX on the late 2000s, San Pablo was left behind while industries, factories, and companies focused on the western part of Laguna which covered the municipalities of Biñan, Cabuyao, San Pedro, and the cities of Santa Rosa, and Calamba. San Pablo City is the second city to become inaugurated in the whole CALABARZON only after Tagaytay. References External links Official website of San Pablo City, Laguna, Philippines San Pablo City Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System